Hello everybody and welcome to Innocentious Place Aurora 4X. So last episode we finalized the, the designs for our missile cruiser and we started uh, building the first one already. Also we got some uh, of our industry to complete some modules already for it so that the ship will be done quite quickly. And we also talked a little bit about the current state of affairs and that I will discuss a little bit more about that. And um, there is still a lot of strife within the council. Uh, it is now has equal representation of everybody in the solar system, uh, which Mars is by far the largest uh, new settled body in the solar system with the moon quite quickly after that and then Titan which is still a frontier planet which is well they try to um, try to they try to make it more habitable for them at the moment there's only 71 million people living there and there is some representative of the civilian mining colonies as well and what's been happening for the last uh, couple of years maybe even is that things tend to collide with each other people from New Earth who are still pretty much al almost com yeah they are the majority in the solar system they have more than 50% of the seats and they tend to abuse that power more often than they should which brings of course a lot of strife uh, with the rest of the bodies in the solar system so uh, everybody worked together and they tried to come up with a solution once again because strife within the council is often a bad recipe for disaster and especially if we start to look out to other solar systems and possibly encounter the alien races that have been predicted by the councils we need to be uni unified and not fight at all so in that end they decided to bring back Mark John. Mark John was, if you don't remember, the diplomat who was the main guy, main guy who made this new council happen. He has been a diplomat for many many years and he was there when the original alliance was formed. Though as you can see we are in the year 58. He was already well, he was young when the alliance was formed, but we are 58 years later almost. He is an old man now. And so when they tried to bring him back to help us now, they failed. He said, I can't, I'm too old. But I have somebody who can replace me. I've been training him for the last years to be ready when you guys need him and that's his son Henry John and we're gonna make Henry John the leader of a diplomatic team who's gonna be an advisory council towards the council in every affair so we're gonna make a diplomatic team and Brigadier General Henry John will be the leader of that team and he will have a couple guys underneath him and together they will be responsible of helping the council through its strife they will advise the council in some decisions as well and with the council more united soon a lot of discussion came about our current military program with the ships getting quite close to being finished uh, we need to talk about the people who are going to pilot those ships so if we go and look over here in the design view the Vorstel need 228 crew members and the Portland 272 and they need to be qualified people and that's when the discussion raged uh, after the big war the third world war ended and the alliance started pretty much everybody 
who had some qualifications, could follow a short course of me in a spaceship, and they would graduate from the military academy as personnel. Now, however, people want more trained. Uh, we have a lot of people available, like we saw already. Not here, but it was over here. We have crewmen and junior officers. There are many, many of them available. And you can see the racial training level here, which is 1. And so the council had a vote. And at the moment we don't have that many ships to fill. And we have many people that are qualified to fill them. So therefore we might as well be a little bit more strict with our recruitment policies. Um, so they decided that things are going to be different from now on. To go into a spaceship as a crew member, just a janitor, you need to have at least a master's degree in spaceship cleaning. To be a jun junior officer, you need at least two master degrees and one PhD to actually get on board of the ship. So how are we going to do that in game? That's very simple. We have here our race, which gives us all our racial bonuses and our environmental tolerance and all those things. And we're gonna set our training level to 5. I believe that is the maximum we can do. Uh, there's a pop up here. Set level of training level, default is 1. Each level adds 100 grade points of academy crewmen. Academy produces 1000 divided by training level crewmen per year. Max level is 5. So we are going to have the highest level of training for our people right now. Safe. Close. And therefore we will have a lot less crewmen. But we don't need that many crewmen uh, per year. And they will be highly qualified at the moment. Well, not really yet at the moment because I don't think it updates real time. But everybody who will uh, graduate from the academy, which will be a, a lot less, will be very, very skillful. And they will have all those degrees. In the new military complex that was designed for the military ships, uh, room was made uh, in the former research labs and they are now converted to a uh, university style thing part of the academy that was located elsewhere first is now relocated to death complex and uh, almost all of the military academy the scientific part of the academy is still in the original space and now that is where all our military personnel is going to be trained so, uh, that's about it for now, I guess, and let's go continue with the game time. So, how are, the, how are our shipping lines actually doing? Oh, this is the log. I want to have our shipping lines. Our shipping lines, they have an amazingly high share price. Uh, this is pretty high. And I'm actually surprised that another shipping line didn't pop up to, make, to get advantage of this amount of money being made. With all these mineral packages, uh, the game has slowed down a little bit. Another reason why I made a diplomatic team already is uh, they get some training already. They really do work, they do their work already at the moment, and while they are doing their work, they get some training. And therefore helping the council is actually really beneficial for them as well. As you can see we have jump gates over 3 of our jump points at the moment. We need another 3 jump points to have jump gates before we can... Uh, before I want to go and explore them, which will mostly be the jump gate constructor jumping through and our military sitting ready on the other side. But we have also 
Research into improve command and control. So now we can make sector commands. Uh, let's see, what else do we want? You have really good logistics and ground combat skill. Selfish model is not that... Uh, I don't think anything of this is really... Maybe the colonization cost actually, it will help tighten a lot of... Yeah, let's go with some colonization cost reduction. This literally reduces the... Uh, how, what is it? Yeah, the planetary suitability or the colony cost. So 5% of this will be dropped off and therefore more people will be available uh, not in the ar agriculture and environmental but in services and manufacturing and also you need less infrastructure for the same amount of people so that's a good thing do we have any infrastructure actually laying around on new earth or something like that yes we do so our freighters on new earth will load infrastructure Oh, they're actually are still busy with doing that. Never mind. They are still in a process of doing that. What is our industry producing at the moment? I believe mines. No, ordnance factories. That's right. Uh, yeah, keep on doing those ordnance factories, please. So we can build the missiles quickly. Look at all these minerals coming to Earth. It, there is such a big backlog of minerals that uh, this is going to take a while before it's all gone, I think. People increasing their research bonus. Civilian mining complexes who increase in size. Because the civilian economy is doing really, really well. The freighter task group has completed its orders. So now New Earth shouldn't have any infrastructure. No, it does. Well, maybe I removed their... Uh, cycling of moves because I clicked on it. Load infrastructure on Earth. Unload it on Titan. We'll actually refuel in the meantime as well. And unload it on tight. Cycle the moves. Let's go. Oh, they failed to load because they probably had a load in. Yeah, they, they had a load already there. So unload at Titan. Refuel at Earth. And then load. And cycle. So our ordnance production went up. And still, well, it is going quite rapidly. I don't remember how many size 1 missiles I ordered. About 500. Here you can see all the, um, all the stockpile you have gathered so the ship components you're still there and the missiles and even the fighters in orbit so the ordnance factory is also almost done with producing stuff yeah I think this will be fine we don't need any more uh, ordnance production do we want anything else we can go for better gauss cannons but I don't think that's necessary at the moment either so I think we're for now done with missile and kinetic weapon uh, production. So let's load off a couple of guys on the colonizing reduction co uh, cost reduction. And uh, the fighter production rate I want up as well because when the carrier is done we need to start producing the fighters uh, here. And the fighter production rate will be uh, done before the carrier is done so that's fine. You can see the jump constructor, uh, jump gate constructor is now at jump point four. 
and it's about half a year still before he will be done with the full jump gate. Ah, and peop uh, you can see already here, um, there one of the brigadiers in the Henry John's diplomatic team has increased its diplomatic skill to 30% and therefore the team skill increases as well. But ordnance production is done on Earth and now they can go back to mine production or terraforming installations or do I want something else? Money is not a problem so we do definitely do not need any um, financial centers. We can put in some deep space tracking facilities because we really lack that at the moment. Our maintenance facilities are actually perfectly fine. But I think I'm gonna push in a couple of levels of the military academy. We want to expand the military complex where now all our candidates are being trained because it's literally too small. It was never designed for this and uh, all the people who need to stay there for so long it's just too small. We need more space. So let's start with about three levels and that will be done really fast actually. Another three levels will be fine. Yeah. I'll be happy with that. And we need a sector command as well. So let's make one of those. And let's cancel you for now. Let's put you on 50%. And then the sector command one at fifty percent as well. Cause I completely forgot about the sector command already. The Coons one has completed the overhaul. What was the Coons for a ship? A geological survey. A gravitational survey actually. Right, because it's a military ship. And there is a mobile infantry battalion being completed on Earth as well. Which gives us one lab. What kind of things do we want to research? Hmm. Not sure. Perhaps some compressed carbon armor? Or things over here. Where the jump gate construction module will have the time, but it's really big. And I think we can support a ship doing that at the moment already. So let's put one lap on that. Oh, you don't have any skills at all. Never mind. I don't want to put you on there anymore. We can try to develop a terraforming module, which is a ship module. I'm actually happy with that. Let's let's go for that. Koontz is unable to do its mission. No special order for you. Alright. Oh, that's right. If I jump through a system... No, oh, no, we know there are one jump gate already. I was thinking that maybe we don't want to... Um, sent the jump gate constructor directly through because it's really difficult to find jump gates without a, 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 a gravitational survey ship but the jump gate would jump through we already know where it is so we have researched a medium cl uh, minimum cloak size we now have better knowledge of how to cloak our ships And let's let's do some more of that. I want some better cloak efficiency. It's a really strong research bonus you have there. I think that's the highest we've had so far. I'm gonna steal one of yours. I'm gonna give it to her. Cause she knows what to do best with it.
I think I'm gonna put a lot of laps in her to design some new armor soon. New armor is really, really beneficial to us, and she is really good in researching. Bigger mining colonies. We like those. Somebody was sick, he had no assignment, therefore no problem. And Sector Command is completed. Where was Sector Command again? Collected map, crazy details... Is it it? No, that's research. I forgot. Oh, this one is maybe... Yeah, Sectors. So we now have uh, a capital Earth and there's one sector which is New Earth which is the current there's a current system in there and that's all. Now we should also have a possibility of putting people into sector command right? Governor of New Earth sector. So let's use the rank um, Can't I specify what level? Well, there are only a couple of guys who are actually capable of becoming sector commander of uh, the New Earth sector. And we don't have a governor of Titan as well. Oh, let's start with that first, actually. We want somebody who has a terraforming bonus. You can be the governor of Titan. And then se for sector command. Uh, what do we want most out of it? I think a mining bonus is pretty good. You are currently the co governor of Mercury. You're gonna be sector command because you have some really good bonuses my friend. Mining bonus, terraforming, population growth, wealth creation, yeah. Congratulations Cortez Lubert, you're going to be the governor of New Earth Sector. Rejoice. The governor of Luna. What are we producing on Luna? I think it's pretty much mining mostly. Yes, a lot of mining. So we want a mining person on Luna. Uh, another mining bonus and you can be the governor of Luna Wilbur Slusher and Mars already has a governor and the rest is just civilian people uh, did I not select Wilbur Slusher? Mm, apparently I didn't sign Yeah, he is the governor of Luna. I don't know why this didn't update. And I'm just gonna assign th these people to the civilian uh, places. Because all of those places have some mining. With this they become better mining places. Should learn that once I click here this one set resets to unassigned so click here and then go here alright everything no I did it again everything now has a governor great sector command you are awesome and that will give us a bonus to every planet in the solar system at least. But it's gonna be it for this episode. Next episode, hopefully we will see the first launch of our military ships. And we will finally go outside of our solar system. Well, depends on how fast the other ship will be going as well. Once the two ships will be completed, I will be sending the first ship through. And it's gonna be the Koons. 
just to figure out how many jump points are in the next solar system. And once the Koons is true, I will probably pull the jump gate constructor also from constructing jump gates in our solar system to constructing jump gates in that new system. It's just so we can have a direct travel through it. But that's all going to be in the next episode. Until then, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.